In this episode, we're going to talk about artificial intelligence and some of the challenges that may arise from the widespread of artificial intelligence. So in your opinion, can you tell me what you foresee as some of the challenges with artificial intelligence? And have you come across any so far when trying to incorporate that into the applications that you're building? Well, in in general, I see there's a situation of uh, dependency. Um, Growing up, had no telephone, there was no, there was no pager. Kids, as kids, we were, we had a schedule. There, there, there was just a telephone and you knew where to go, when to go to meet your friends. You would knock on their door and sometimes, you know, later internet generation people, how did you ever survive without the telephone? Um, yeah, we were organized. We, we know what to do. When you don't have something, you organize yourself in a different way. So now with internet and maps and GPS and all that stuff, I saw a very interesting proposal about why the human brain has decreased in size. And it was one of the theories was domestic, domestication. The other theory was, is that we have to do less because Earlier humans had to remember everything. They didn't have, they weren't able to write things down. So I started thinking, what can AI do? Um, what impact can it have on, on humans in general? Well, if you have to remember less and you don't have to store knowledge and to think about things and you can just type in what you want and get the answer back, that means your brain, which is taking 20% of your energy, is going to have to do less work. So that means in general, the population, the more, the, the less that we have to do, the more we, the less we have to learn, the less. So if you, if you, can, if you can know the right questions to ask, that means there's actually less that you have to do. And I think over a period of time, just like now people don't know direction because you have GPS and it can tell you where to go. People don't need to have schedules because they can have a calendar that tells them when to do things. Um, they can ask. So if, if you can just ask and get information and don't actually have to learn it, then there is the potential that people will become less intelligent. It's just like I've had machines that lift for me and do all the work for me. My muscles are going to get smaller. So I see the only impact is going to create a big dependency on that technology. So people will become completely dependent on AI because they won't need to think as much anymore. They won't need to study. They won't need to learn as much because they can just go type in what they need to know and get it right away. What happens if that disappears? This is the only danger that I see, that if something that you're dependent on in terms of technology all of a sudden disappears, what's it going to do to humanity? How will people possibly survive? 